Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're gonna to be making some double chocolate chip cookies. Um, they're, they're supposed to be triple, but I really am not a fan of dark chocolate. These cookies are actually um, Tanya Burr's um, recipe. I absolutely love her, I've been watching her for years. But I actually saw Zoella do it on her Instagram. And ever since I've seen them on Instagram, I've just been craving them every single day. Now, just to clarify things, I know this is supposed to be a beauty and lifestyle channel, but I like to change things up a bit. And with quarantine and everything, baking is like my, my way of just Anyways, baking has been my way of just chilling out and just dealing with it, all of this. Guys, I kid you not, I had a full mental breakdown in the pharmacy. I just had it. I just had enough. People, someone pushed in front of me again and it turned out she was a carer. So I made a fuss out of, every, and out of nothing. But I think it was the build up of just everything that's going on. I absolutely hate going out um, and I just couldn't stop crying. I feel like I had an anxiety um, panic attack. I get them every now and then, but I literally could not control myself. Like I was bawling. I was like, <laughs> just, just give my mom's medicine. <laughs> That's how I was crying. <laughs> um, it was a bit embarrassing and they were kind of laughing at me, but I had someone push in front of me in Tesco in the queue. And I, I'm just like, we're all in the same boat. Um, why do people have to do this? Like, I hate it when people take advantage of others and are just not fair. Um, we're all in the queue. Um, but this time it was a carer and that's why she was, she went in front of everyone. And I work, woke up extra early. Anyways, this is so off topic. And only three customers can go in at a time and I was the third customer. So when she went in, that, mean, that meant I couldn't go in. And I made a fuss and then she was like, she's a carer. She's an NHS carer. And I'm like, okay. But she could have just communicated that to me. Went off. I just started crying. It wasn't because, it, I mean, that just tipped me off the edge. Even though, like, she's a carer. She has to go in first. But, you know, now I'm feeling much better. I feel like, you know, that day I just had, sometimes you just need to cry it all out. Just let it all out. And you just feel better afterwards. So now I feel really good. <laughs> I will be having some cool makeup videos coming in the week. And by the way, I forgot how much I love my NARS tinted moisturizer. It's so beautiful. I feel like a human being. All right, you guys have been, oh, look at my cute nails. Oh, damn. Check out my previous video if you want to see how I did my nails. I, I absolutely love them. So I'm going to do it from this angle because you guys have been really liking it this way. And I will obviously link the recipes that I'm following in the info box if you guys want to check it out. And I've already preheated my fan oven to 200 degrees Celsius. Okay, so here I've got 200 grams of butter. You're supposed to use unsalted butter, but I just don't have that. And I'm really trying to avoid going out. I feel like it's been two weeks I haven't done food shopping. I'm really avoiding it. So I'm just doing with what I have. This is just flora butter. And then here I have 300 grams of sugar. And you have to cream these together. And oh my god, this was a mess last time I tried this. I'm gonna try not to make a mess this time. But it would help if the butter is at room temperature. Mine's not, but we'll, we'll, we'll get through this. Right, I've got my trusty old whisk. Oh my god, that wasn't actually too bad. Um, I would definitely recommend getting a big bowl. This one's from Tesco. It definitely helps to just avoid getting lumps fly out everywhere. Right, I'm really happy with that. I, like last time I couldn't do it, but it's supposed to get like this paley color, like creamy texture. So once the mix is smooth, add in the egg and the dry ingredients. So it says to use self-raising flour, but I only have this. And I have no idea what this is. I just know it's flour. It was from our local co corner shop. But they've I've literally, it's impossible to find flour anywhere. But they had loads of these. Um, I think it's, I don't know what language. I have no idea what language this is, but it's flour. I don't know if it's plain flour or self-raising. So just in case, I've added a little bit of um, baking powder, just in case. So I'm first going to add in the egg and then mix this rather than mixing the... the flour in already. Right, now I'm going to sieve in the flour. This is 275 grams of uh, flour. It's supposed to be self-raising flour. 
and it says also to mix in the cocoa powder as well I've got powder and here I've got 75 grams of cocoa powder Let's sift that in and mix this all together I'm happy with that. Let's give this a quick taste. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Gosh, I hate when I get powder everywhere. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk in there. Honestly, just the tiniest amount. testing this out to see if it's gonna mold I'm really happy with that it's moldable flying bits here my countertop is clean guys I'm trying to get all this residue out these taste so yum already it's not even cooked so for chocolate I'm gonna put these in I've got uh, white chocolate and galaxy this is the cookie crumble because I couldn't find the original and I so prefer galaxy compared to Cadbury chocolate. I'd rather eat like a whole block of plain galaxy chocolate instead. So you just want to take these and just break the big crumbs. Don't you even need to cut them, just break them apart. Oh my god, I just love Milky Bar chocolate, like so yummy. I wish I had two of these though. I really do wish. So now you want to go in with your hands and really mix this together. I'm really happy with the consistency of the dough. And in Zoella's video, they made them really chunky like this. So I'm going to try and do them like that. And I'm trying to make sure that it's a good distribution of um, chocolate in them. This is so fun. I just want to make sure I make enough for everyone. Oh, it's your queen. That's four there. Okay, I have another three in here. So I'm going to put these in the oven. And these only need to go in for 11 minutes. so greasy not the healthiest but who cares i'm gonna go film some tiktoks now whilst i wait for these cookies to um cook if you haven't followed me on tiktok make sure to do so oh my god guys so these are what the cookies are looking like they look absolutely amazing they're like really thick these ones are amazing as well Look at my beautiful cookies. So the recipe does say to leave them out to cool for 30 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do because they're going to continue cooking whilst they're like cooling down. So yeah, you have to be patient guys. I know it's going to be really hard. It's going to be hard for me, but I'll be back and we'll see how these taste like. I'm so excited. This is my beautiful cookie. I'm just going to break these. They have been cooling for 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, taste test. This is my new favorite cookie. This is amazing. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside with melted chocolate. You guys have to try these. I just need a cup of cold milk now. I am so happy. Oh my god. Best cookies I've ever made by far. They're like the perfect shape. I could go sell these, okay? 
I made eight cookies, I think. It's not the type of cookie you eat like loads. You can eat one or two. Mine are smaller than what Zoella did, but I could eat two of these and then I'll be stuffed. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Which one do you want? Do you want like all the white chocolate in it? Sure. Looks like a cake. Yeah, it's like cakey inside. They're not chewy cookies, but they're almost chewy cakey, I would it's like say. Fudgy. Not exactly. Like, fudgy cake. Yeah. But is it good with the melted chocolate and everything? How would, how would you rate that? A nine. <gasps>